Hi, and lesson natin ngayon is about application of sequences for lesson number 5. Dito, kailangan master mo ng arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. Ang target natin ngayon is this lesson will help you find solutions to solve problems involving sequences. Meron kasi sa real life situations natin na ma-apply natin ang arithmetic and geometric sequence. We're going to use the OPS. Anong ibig sabihin yan? U stands for understand. Isusulat mo lang lahat na naiintindihan mo at lahat ng given. Presentation, ano yung formula ang gagamitin mo? At S for the solution. Let's have example number one. Suppose the auditorium of the Tagaytay International Convention Center, TICC, has 20 seats in the first row. And that, each row has two more seats than the previous row. If there are 30 rows in the auditorium, how many seats are in the last row? Intindihin natin ang problem natin. Yun daw auditorium, ilang rows meron? Yes, 30. Sa unang row, sa first row, ilan ang seats capacity niya? Yes, 20. Tapos, yung susunod daw, Ilan ang dumadagdag? Tama. Dalawang dumadagdag kada row. So, ibig sabihin, kung meron kang 20 sa first row, ilan yung sa second row mo? Yes, 22. Ayun sa sunod. 24. Susunod, 26. Pero, ano yung tinatanong dito? How many seats are in the last row? Ilan daw yung seats sa Ika 30th row. Okay, solve na tayo. Understand. Sulat natin lahat ng given, lahat ng naintindihan natin. Yung sa first row, may 20 seats. Tapos, dumadagdag has 2 more seats than the previous. So, plus 2. Ang total rows natin ay 30. Presentation. We're going to use the arithmetic sequence to find the last term. So, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1, d. Where a sub 1, first term mo ay 20, d, difference is 2, and n is equal to 30. Let's have the solution. We have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1, d. Substitute lang natin. So, we have 20 plus quantity 30 minus 1 multiplied by 2. Copy 20, what is 30 minus 1? That is 29, multiplied by 2. So, copy 20, 20, 29 times 2 is equal to 58. 20 plus 58 is equal to 78. Therefore, sa ika 30th row, meron daw 78 na seat capacity. Again, first row, 20. Second row, 22. Third row, 24. Up to 30th row, which is 78 daw yung upuan doon. Nakuha nyo ba? Next. We're going to have the arithmetic series. Finding the total number of seats is solving for arithmetic series or sum given the formula. Pag sinabi naman natin series, sum yun. Pag sinabi natin sum, ina-add lang natin lahat ng sequences. For example, doon sa example number 1 natin, tinatanong, ang seat capacity ng auditorium. So, where n is the number of terms in the sequence, a sub 1 is the first term, a sub n is the last term, and d is the common difference. Example number 2. Suppose, in illustrative example 1, you are asked to find the total number of seats. How will you do it? Instead of adding the number of seats per row, you must use the formula. So, yun nga. Tinatanong kung ilan ang capacity ng auditorium, ilang upuan lahat. So, ang gagawin natin is, kapag di pa natin alam yung formula, i-add natin lahat ng sequence. 20 plus 22 plus 24 plus 26 plus 28 up to so on, up to 78 which is the 30th row. Pero, may formula na. Ito yung formula ang gagamitin natin. So, we have a sub 1 is equal to 20, n is equal to 30, and this is the two common difference. So, dito, tinatanong ilan lahat ang seat capacity ng auditorium. 
understand, a sub 1 is equal to 20, yung first number natin, n is equal to 30, a sub n is equal to 78, ito yung last term yung sinagotan natin a while ago. So, this is equal to co uh, 2, which is a common difference, and the unknown is the total number of seat capacity. Let's have the presentation. We can use um, the two formula. So, we have S of N is equal to N over 2 multiplied by first term and last term. Yeah, add lang natin yung dalawa, then multiplied by N over 2. Next, S, S of N is equal to N over 2 multiplied by 2 times the first term plus quantity N minus 1 multiplied by D. Ito, gamitin natin yung isang formula. S of n is equal to n over 2 multiplied by twice the first term plus n minus 1 multiplied by t. So, substitute the given to the formula. What is our n over 2? 30 over 2. What is twice the first term? 2 times 20. Plus, n minus 1 is 30 minus 1 multiplied by the common difference which is 2. So, unahin natin yung parenthesis sa... Okay, 2 times 20 is 40. 30 minus 1 is 29 multiplied by 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So we have 40 plus 29 times 2. So multiplied by 15 is equal to 1,470. So gamitin natin yung isang formula. Pwede natin gamitin. Kasi alam natin ang last term natin at alam din natin ang first term natin. So, we have S of N is equal to N over 2 multiplied by the sum of the first term and the last term. So, we have substitute. What is our N over 2? 30 over 2. What is our first term? 20. What is our last term? 78. 20 plus 78 is 98. 30 divided by 2 is 15. 98 times 15 is equal to 1,470. Ibig sabihin, Ang seat capacity ng auditorium ay 1,470 lahat from first row up to 30th row. Did you understand? Okay, punta naman tayo sa geometric series. Kung meron tayong arithmetic series, meron din tayong geometric series. At ito yung formula natin. S of n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by 1 minus r to the n power over 1 minus r. So, the sum of geometric series is obtained using the formula. A sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and r is a common ratio. Let's have example number 3. Find the sum of the sequence 2, 6, 18, 54 up to a sub 5. Given a sub 1, first term is 2, ang ratio natin ay 3, 6 divided by 2, 18 divided by 6, 54 divided by 18, so 3, and n is equal to 5. So, given the formula, we're going to substitute it. So, we have a sub 1 is 2, 1 minus r to the n is 1 minus 3 to the 5th, and 1 minus r, 1 minus 3. Unahin natin yung may exponent. What is 3 to the 5th power? 243. So, 1 minus 243 is negative 242. Multiplied by 2 divided by negative 2 is equal to 242. And that's all for our lesson number five.